welcome back as you saw by the title we are reviewing the Passway v4 pro this is the slightly more expensive version the only thing different about this is it has a little bit less range but a more it has a like more power and speed um i think this version is a little bit better for the price since you just get a little bit more power and even um if you lose a little bit of range i think it's worth it I personally really like the unboxing on this board because it's really standard and simple. There's nothing too much here, it's just like everything comes in that little box. It was really easy and quick to unbox. It comes with a little small charger, um, uh, T-Tool, here you'll see the charger in a second. Right, where is it, and there's the charger, it's a really small little charger, nothing fancy about it. Um, I wish it was a little bit bigger so I could charge the boards a bit quicker. Comes with a really nice screen remote, actually something I'm really surprised to see on a budget board like this. It's the same one that Ecomobile ET and the Meepo V3 uses. Comes with a special special little tool for the motors I think, and also a Passway branded skate tool. And um, it also comes with an instruction manual and that's everything that's included in the box. Okay, so the Passway V4 Pro is a super budget friendly electric skateboard coming in at $349. This is one of the cheapest electric skateboards you can find on the market. Some of the main features about this board is it is airplane safe. So it has a 100.8 watt battery, so just under the uh, minimum, I mean the maximum of 101 watt hours without airplane approval. This deck is also surprisingly short for a longboard deck, I think it's like 34 inches. That makes carving on it really nice, I'm not really going too quick right here because these are little spots about a few inches apart, but it's really fun to carve on just be like because of the deck and the great bushings. I also like the 90, I mean the 83mm wheels, they make sliding quite nice on the board as well. So a negative I found while riding this board is it's not exactly very powerful when um, it's not like charged. I think I was at two bars after maybe running for like four miles or something. It couldn't um, support me going up that hill once I stepped off of it. If you go up it with some speed you can. Also the deck is not very bouncy but that's okay since this is basically a short board. Um, so it's better than most short board decks. Okay, so let's talk about some pros and cons. So it's very easy to carry this board. It's a uh, light, it's um, airplane set, like friendly, and it's very easy to ride as well. Uh, the braking acceleration isn't too strong, and it's a really great board for the price range. I also think the braking is some of the best I've ever tried on any electric skateboard. And this board looks super nice. It looks really cool when you ride it. And also just like looking at it, it's a really beautiful board. They definitely put a lot of their money into the like aesthetic of the board and and just how it looks and how it feels it's a very well made board like definitely with quality in mind something that you don't really see on some of these budget boards most of the time you just see like they just try to spend all their money to get some decent specs but i really like this on this board it comes with some pretty good specs as well like a eight mile range and uh two 400 watt motors it also has a 23 mile top speed and a 220 pound mat. So there's a few negatives like bad hill climbing like you just saw and uh, not so much range. I wish it was a little bit more and the wheels are quite small. That can be taken as a positive or negative. Like if you like to slide, that's good. But otherwise, when you're riding in a rough area, it can be a little harder than some people might want. But you can kind of get over that if you did a wheel swap, but then you would have uh, even less range. So I just chose to deal with it and learn how to ride even on these small tires. I kind of found it pretty fun after a while and maybe you will as well. All right, let's just overview everything that I've showed you in this video. So this is a perfect board for new riders or people who just want a board to travel with or just do a basic communal. Uh, this board's not the best if you live in a hilly area or somewhere that has bad terrain. For that, I would recommend getting a T2 or T3. Both of those can be purchased on the Passway website. So, this board is perfect though. 
for just commuting and stuff like that is a top speed of 23 miles an hour and an 8 mile range. It has a max weight load of 220 pounds and it has a battery, it has an airplane safe ba battery. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and please like and subscribe.